Stop. I feel like inconsequently over the past year, my face personality has been synonymously placed next to a Reddit feed that I've never seen in my entire life. And today, we're gonna fix that problem. Well, it's not a really problem. I just feel ignorant as fuck. Long story short, I have been a guest star on Smosh quite a handful of times now. And one of the videos I did with them that did weirdly well was a series they do where Shane Bow. sits in a chair and then reads stories from something Bow. called Am I the Bow. Asshole on Reddit. They told me they want to do that with me. Hey man, I said sure. I don't know what the fuck that is. Heard some crazy Bow. ass stories a couple times. And videos of me reacting and talking about cracking babies open like glow sticks. Decided to randomly circulate the internet in a weird, weird fashion. Sometimes playing simultaneously next to like a clip of someone like hitting a sweater, melting things, pushing stuff with hydraulic pressure. Which I very much appreciate, actually. I very much appreciate that. Hydraulic press videos, bitch. Should win a Grammy. Should win a Grammy. Never been to the Am I the Asshole Reddit subreddit. Subreddit's called subreddit, right? Girl, shows you how much I use Reddit. Don't go to Reddit, period. That's me. Barely on Reddit. Been on it a couple times. I've seen quite a few dicks on it, okay? I found a subreddit called Massive Cock a few years ago and really... Really went down it for a bit. Quite amazed by the size of huge. I'm not a size queen. Let's 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 rewind this real quick. I'm not a size queen. But a girl can be quite amazed by the size of some people's penises out here. Like some people got full ass third leg. And I know they are not putting it in anybody because nobody can handle that shit, bitch. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. And here we are. We're moving on now. I started talking about dick. It was time to change the subject. But here we are. Am I the asshole? Or creamy me DICD? I don't fucking, I was trying to be funny, I'm sorry. A community of people being dicks and jerks and some just have weird guilt issues. I don't know. Where do I start? How do we do? This? What do I click? How do you Reddit? I'm sorry. I think I've only never done one Reddit video on my channel ever once in my life where I like posted on Roast Me because a friend told me to do so. Bitch, I got roasted. Okay, they called me a hammerhead shark. I remember those times. Y'all did not live that down. We are best of, most controversial at R Am I the asshole filtered? Oh, wait, hold on. Most controversial? Why the fuck not, girl? Why are we here? Let's leave, bitch. Bitch. Where, where is she? Look at me learning how to Reddit, bitch. Look at me, I'm going to different pages and shit. Call me Elon Musk. I'm so technological. Let's do tops. Cause we're only tops here, okay? Tops only by bitch. Put the douche down, okay? Go grab some fucking chili, girl. We only dicking down tonight. Only the most interesting am I the asshole post. Once again, we moved on right away from talking about dick. I just gotta abruptly change that, girl. We're on our Mr. Beast mode now. He don't talk about cock. He don't talk about cock. And that's hard for me. I just gotta learn. It's really hard to learn because no cock is just so easy to talk about. It's just like a slip of the tongue. Like this subreddit is a list of all good threads curated from am I the asshole. Once again, abruptly changing. I'm sorry. Am I the asshole for telling my BIL that if he wants to charge us for a family trip, he should pay us back for every cent we gave him? What is a BIL? What? what are you this sounds like rich people shit. I don't wanna. Am I the asshole for embarrassing my brother because of how disgusting he is? Okay, what if he has a decoration king? I, 16 female. Okay, shut up. That's my review. As someone that is 10 years older than you, that is my answer to your question. Shut the fuck up. So bothered, girl. You are literally dying. And my brother, 15 male, moved into a new house five years ago. Moved into a new house five years ago. It's not, okay. Also, I bought a subscription to a stock video website, so you might see a lot of random stock videos. I was just posted just to make it entertaining and also to make my money's worth, girl, okay? That shit ain't cheap. It costs a lot of money. A lot of dinero. A lot of moolah. A lot of cha -cha. Okay, girl? Yeah, yes, put a video in front of all that, bitch, because I want to put more work on my goddamn self. Little backstory, we love that. We used to share a bedroom and needed to move as we were getting to the age where we needed our own space. I understand, you're teenagers. Puberty. I'm not gonna talk about the dick. I was just, I was literally about to say something about the dick. Oh my God. We were at the age where we didn't make much mess and sharing a room wasn't too difficult. As we got older in the new house, he became messier. Okay. It started with his clothes piling up and his stuff was everywhere. But overall, not dirty. When he hit the age of 13, he started leaving dirty clothes in the bathroom, unwashed dishes in his room, and not emptying his bin in his room. Like a 13 year old does. Okay, just tell him to do it. Shit. His personal hygiene was overall okay. He showered every day and wears deodorant. Great. He's now 15 and still showers every day. However, his room is disgusting. The bathroom, which we have to share, is disgusting. He wears the same clothes for four days before he puts on a new pair on. Out. Whoa. Whoa. 
girl, that sounds like depression. Sounds like someone needs to talk to somebody. Now this is where I embarrass him. His room is none of my business, but the bathroom is. Now I have told him multiple times that he needs to clean up after himself, especially in the bathroom, but he never does, and no punishment has been given for his disgusting behavior. Oh. Some examples of this, his leaving his long hair in the sink, Why? okay. Shaving his pubes in the sink, blocking it. Whoa! A 50 year old is shaving his pubes? What is he? Who is he talking to? Why is a 50 year old shaving? I mean, I mean, yeah. When was the first time I manscaped? I don't even fucking know, actually. Oh, she gave us a list. It is not over. Leaving his hairy rays on the counter. Not flushing the toilet. Leaving piss on the toilet seat. Ew. So to finally punish his for things he has been doing for literal years. Okay, grammar check. I made a Snapchat story with all of his friends in. Took pictures of his mess and dirt and posted it for them all to see. Girl. Girl. Girl, that's too far. Okay, that is too far. Okay, it is a sibling situation. Your brother's being dirty. I get it. The bears in front of his friends. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. You fucked up, okay? So I go back to my original advice. Shut the fuck up. That is such a 16 year old thing to do. That's such a 16 year old person on Reddit thing to do. Let's be honest. At first, no one cared until it got worse and his mates started laughing at him for his mess. He cried to our parents and begged them to make me stop, which they listened to and punished me for, making me take down the story and grounding me. It's been a few weeks and he still has not fixed his foul behavior. I don't think I'm in the wrong for taking action on something that's been going on for you. So am I the asshole? Yes. This is such a sibling ass thing. My brother never gets in trouble. He does, bitch. He does. You're just, you know, you're just a 16 year old. You think the world wraps around you right now, but it doesn't, you know? There are people dying. There are fucking people dying as we speak right the fuck now, okay? I don't want to get into it. My advice, stop being a 16 year old. My advice is, if you want to complain, and start paying these fucking bills. Your parents probably don't give a shit. If my 16 year old child came crying up to me and be like, girl, yeah. he's making a like, okay, then clean up his mess. What am I gonna do? I'm not gonna clean it, bitch. I pay the bills. I pay the rent. You figure it out. Fun. But that's also why I am not a parent. <laughs> am I the asshole for stopping my boyfriend wearing a Halloween costume? Is this gonna be homophobic? Please no. Please no. Please don't. Please don't. My 18 female boyfriend, 19 male, is going clubbing for Halloween. He's going with quite a few of his male friends, and I'm staying home with my baby. Whoa! 18, girl? Is it not his, too? So it's not his babe? It's your sh- Wait. Let me move my bangs real quick so I can read that again. My 18 female boyfriend, 19 male, is going clubbing for a Halloween. He's going with quite a few of his male friends, and I'm staying home with my baby. So it's not his. 18, 19, you already have a baby, and it's not your boyfriend, so you hop one out and then moved on? That's a lot of work. That's- I hope you know what you're signing up for. My boyfriend has been thinking of costume ideas, and he came up with the idea of a group costume for him and his friends. They would all go wearing t-shirts saying Pussy Patrol. Okay. For context, all his friends are quite nerdy. Yeah. And they're all single. Okay. I told him I was uncomfortable with the idea as it made him appear single. I said it would be the same as wearing a shirt that says Dick Finder. Then go for it. That's funny. I'm really upset at the idea of him going clubbing without wearing something that makes it seem like he's trying to get girl. My boyfriend is saying I'm being ridiculous. Am I the asshole? You're being an 18 year old. <laughs> That's what... <laughs> I'm too old for this reddish shit. That's what I've learned. So your boyfriend wanted to wear one of the most basic things anybody wears for Halloween. And you were afraid that it was going to make... This is some straight people shit. See, that's what that is. I'm trying to imagine being a girl out on the town looking for some dick. And I see a group of guys, nerdy looking boys, wearing a shirt that says Pussy Patrol. You really think somebody's going to be like... Bow, 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 bow. <laughs> Ooh, but at the same time, I don't know, okay? I am a homosexual. So I've seen guys walking around with shirts that say boy toy and daddy magnet and it felt up all over the club. Well, usually that shirt is accompanied with a crop top and a jock strap and maybe some booty shorts, girl. So that's a different, you know, it's, it's a whole different language. <laughs> Just having a shirt that says Pussy Patrol. I feel like that's not enough. The effort is not seen, so this pussy is not grabbing. My verdict, get over it. I can't do this, I can't do this. <laughs> Let me find one of somebody that's like my age. Problem is, people around my age that use Reddit are probably married. Dead ass! The problem with being 26 and just confused is that you got to go to a lot of friends weddings now and then they all sit there looking at you being like so so when like girl calm the fuck down i don't even know what i'm doing tomorrow i don't know where to go who do i talk to
too. Am I the asshole for not inviting my dad to my grandma's Chinese New Year dinner anymore over pesto? Okay, here we go. This sounds like some stupid ass adult shit. I am invested, let's get into it. For content, ooh, I am a mixed kid. Okay, my dad is Hawaii, my mom is Asian. In my country, we have a tradition that every year that everyone will go back to my grandmother's house for Chinese New Year dinner. And so, my father is the only white person in our family tree, but he is fine with Asian food. The only issue is whenever he does bring his own set of sauces every time we eat non-Western food, which is fine, but he does it everywhere. So he's just carrying around like what, ranch everywhere, girl? White people, you love ranch. Y'all love ranch. And it's, 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 it's good. <laughs> I personally would go for like a thousand island girl. Maybe some hot sauce girl. Tabasco, bitch. But ranch, I don't know, that's too creamy. Like I need some, ooh. We are having dinner that night with everyone gathered around the table and he pulls out ranch and pe- Yeah, yeah, yeah. ranch. And pesto in jars got from the supermarket and starts lathering the rice and vegetables with his sauces. Rice with ranch? Rice with ranch. Rice with ranch and pesto? Ooh, girl, that's prison. Girl, that's prison food. That's what that sounds like. And then said, wow, this is really good. Everyone just sort of laughed. But it made me really embarrassed since I felt my grandma eyeing our family the whole dinner and was snappy at us the rest of the dinner. Damn. After we went home, I explained to my dad how that was super impolite and he shouldn't have done that. But he says he was just making himself comfortable so he could enjoy the food too. I know my grandma would never tell me directly to stop inviting my dad over, but I'm scared of getting on her back. Side. My dad thinks I'm being absurd and gatekeep and food should be expanded and mixed. Oh no, kick his ass out. Food should be expanded and mixed. But not family dinner. During traditional shit. During traditional events, girl, you can need to appreciate shit traditionally. You okay? Let's call called respecting cultures. Okay. If food ain't your style, girl. Just take a few nibbles. Yum yum yum. Thank you. Eat the dessert. Go home and eat some KFC. I don't know. Like I just came back from Japan. I'm just sitting here trying to imagine carrying an entire bottle of ranch to Japan. First of all, I don't even know if ranch is like a thing in Japan. I did not see ranch anywhere. If I were to pull out a bottle of ranch, they'll probably look at me being like. Why is this man putting cum on the sushi? What is going on? Who the fuck is Silent Valley? And why are her bottles so loud? <laughs> Am I the asshole for telling my brother I don't regret his fake funeral and he should be thanking our parents? What? Wait, what? What? What kind of title? Hold on. My brother used to be an addict. Oh, okay. Okay, this just automatically got 100% less funny. <laughs> Let's not read this one. And I also had a lot of grammatical errors as I was skimming through it and I do not want to deal with that. <laughs> why are y'all Redditors like not checking y'all typing? Y'all typing real fast. Are you shaking? King, what's going on? Stop drinking so much coffee. Go to bed, okay? Let's go to sleep. Am I the asshole for wanting to get my daughter life insurance? I don't know. What? Why? I've listened to a lot of you crying. And usually when someone's trying to get life insurance, that means a death is soon to follow out of nowhere. I, female, 24, want to get my daughter almost five months a life insurance policy. Oh, why? Five months? Life insurance? And you're 24? Bro, what kind of money you making? Wait, hold on. Hold on. You got life insurance money? Like, what do you mean? At 24, girl? At 24? Why are we flexing? Uh, are you a Getty? My husband, male, 21. Young couple. Young married couple with a child, girl. I cannot imagine having a child. I am 26. If you thought I was younger, then still believe that, okay? Still believe that. This was me five years ago. To the bride up my butt. That motherfucker right now will be having a five month old talking about life insurance, bitch. Imagine. Imagine. 21 year old Mac? Oh no. Having a kid? Ooh, girl. Ooh, child protection services. What do you mean I can't just leave my child next to a heater as I go get fucked in the back alley of the Eagle? What are you talking about? Like, he was warm. I left him some crackers if he got hungry. Like, oh my god. Y'all are so dramatic. I've mentioned getting her one a few times in the past. I even mentioned it before we ever had kids. Why are you talking about life insurance at 24? Who raised you? Honestly, good job for them, okay? That sounds like some lawyer shit. Do you have lawyer parents? Or are you a Getty, okay? Answer one of these two. My husband has never had anything negative to say about it until I told him today was the day we signed the papers for it. He said his final answer was no, and that was that. That we wouldn't be getting her one. I said my answer is yes. I think we need one. And said we could put it off for a week to discuss it. Said we already discussed it today, and his answer is no. He kept going on about how pointless it is and how she's 
too young and not gonna die anytime soon. So it's not needed. But I believe death can hit at any moment. Damn. I mean, true, girl. But maybe we should stop. We, we should we should pause on the true crimes, okay? We should pause on the true crimes for a little bit. Plus, life insurance policies can be used in more instances than just death, which I told him. After we got into it, he told me I win and he'll sign the policy. I told him I appreciate it, but it's not about winning. It's about taking care of our daughter. Now he's mad at me and I feel like he's playing the victim. Um, uh, I mean, who's paying for life insurance? That's the big question. Who is paying for that life insurance? If it's both of y'all, then yeah, you're kind of the asshole for coaxing someone out of the one to pay for that. You know what I mean? And I understand that death can hit at any moment, but like, why are you focused on the insurance part of it? Why are we gambling with the life of your five month old daughter already? That, I don't know, it just feels a bit, I don't know. It feels a bit heartless and like icy, you know? It feels a bit icy and cold. To be like, oh, this baby that just popped out of my loins a couple months ago, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull out a full financial policy on its life right now at five months. And doesn't like the policy just get like, you get more and more money as the years go by? What's happening? What, what, how, what does house life insurance work? I don't know, should I read a comment? They always read the comments on, on Smosh, right? I just completely gloss all over these without even reading anybody else's opinions, girl. I said, I don't give a shit. This is Mac does it. Not what the people think on Reddit do it. Bitch. How is insuring your daughter's life about taking care of your daughter? If this is the sort of life insurance that is mostly a badly packaged investment plan, then you're the assholes because it's a stupid way to invest. Period. That's what I'm gonna say. What is life insurance? Only time I ever see people pull out life insurance when they're about to like murder. Putting money away for education or in some other sensible investment vehicle would make more sense. Period. Girl, where's she gonna go to school? Put in that fucking Gerber shit. Whatever happened to Gerber? Whatever happened to that baby? Whatever happened to that plan, that investment shit? Was it the recession? Was it the recession? It was the recession, wasn't it? When was the recession? <laughs> this seems too dope for my ass. This is probably the wrong one to fucking end it on, girl. We went from two teenage shit to one kind of adult shit to one that's like too adult for all of us, bitch. And we talking about money now. Let's go back, okay? What happened to Stinky Brothers, girl? Let's go back to Stinky Brothers. Ooh, my brother is so stinky. Not life insurance for my baby. Ooh, whoa. Well, that's it, I'm done. What did we learn today, Kim? Babies be insured. Brothers be stinky. And uh, don't put ranch on rice. That sounds disgusting. Shout out to at underscore 21 Ruby 12 and at 66 Captain 66 for retweeting my last video on Twitter. Comment down below. Can I do this again? I don't know. I don't want to like be stealing people's things, but at the same time, I know they didn't come up with it first. I'm gonna go. My name is Mac. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, babe. Wow.